Deputy Dunkley, could you move the podium? Uh, the... So ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it, it'll be time for you to deliberate, but I just want to briefly go over the verdict form with you. I'm going to give you a yellow one again, just like at the last time, so you all have a copy. But I want you to look at it with me as obviously at the top, it's the same drill with the case number, et cetera. And then we, ju the jury, find as follows as Christopher Fasada. And I give you the same um, encouragement there. Filling this out meticulously is so, so very important to us. And if you look, so on the first page, it says aggravating factors is that to count one, Sean Henry. So we put the name out to the side so you know we're referring and count one as to Sean Henry. If you flip over to the next page, You'll see count two as to Brandy El Sali, and then to count three, Kelly Doherty. So each one of these stands on their own, and you have to make your evaluation as to each one. And if you look at the question, we, the jury, unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the aggravating factor. First degree murder was committed in a cold, calculated, and pre premeditated manner without any pretense of moral or legal justification. Yes or no? Then as to the second aggravator, Another capital felony, a felony involving the use of violence. Yes or no? Same question as to Brandy El Sali, and same question as to Kelly Doherty. Two questions. Now, if you look at the very bottom of page two, it gives you direction. If you answer yes to at least one of the aggravating factors listed for any of the counts, please proceed to section B as to that count or counts depending on how many you check off, if any. If you answered no to every aggravating factor listed for each account, you're done. Sentences for life, and you'll move on to the very end. But if you answer yes to any of them, you'll go to B. You'll see the questions. We want X's next to yes or no, if they're appropriate, if you reach that. And right below section B, then it says, if you answer yes to section B for any of the counts, please proceed to section C as to that count or counts. If you answer no to all the questions in section B, you're done. And section C is the mitigating circumstances. One or more individual ju jurors find that one or more mitigating circumstances was established by the greater way of the evidence. Read the questions carefully. They guide you. Then please proceed to section D, regardless of your findings in section C. If you reach this, then D breaks it down again as to each count, Sean Henry, Brandy Al-Salee, and in count three, Kelly Doherty. If you answer yes to section D for any of the counts, then you'll go to E. And then E has the questions there again. If your vote to impose death is less than unanimous, the court shall impose a sentence of life without possibility of parole. You'll date this and you'll sign it. You'll let us know when you're ready for us. We'll knock on the door and deliver some evidence. If you have a question, put it in writing. You guys know, all know the drill from last time. Same thing. You're going to leave your cell phones on your chair. You're going to take your pads, your jury instructions, and your verdict forms, although we're going to bring you the official one. Lawyers, have I covered everything that's going to be covered? All right. Then my two alternate jurors, you're going to stay where you are. I'm going to come talk to you. That's Ms. Higgs, Ms. Ham. The rest of you, it's time to get to work. Knock on the door when you need us. Anything else we need to talk about right now? I would ask you to do me one favor, to at least a representative for me, so I stick around for about 15, 15 minutes or so. And if you want to go back to your offices or this and that, just leave your phone numbers. And with that, we'll be in recess. <laughs>